Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? Uh, I've got a liked video that I just put in my YouTube channel. It's a live. Uh, it's happening right now, live. So very few will actually be able to see it live. Uh, there's only a few people that see this channel anyways. What it is, it is a science expedition. How's that sound? Since we're talking about no matter what subject we are discussing, we should always trust science over everything else, correct? That's the word of today, uh, straight out of the capital. Uh, science, 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 science. So we're watching some scientists right now in a robotic submarine, okay? And it's off the coast of Oregon right now. And it, the submarine is tethered to a ship that's going up and down the coast. And right now, I believe they are showing themselves to be right around the Oregon-Washington border. I'm not sure how far off the coast they are, but it doesn't appear to be too deep because I do believe I see some sort of sunlight still coming down through the water. Yes? Uh, I, oh, I, I, as a matter of fact, I do believe they said how deep they were, and it's not deep at all. You know, less than, say, 100 feet or somewhere around that general area. And what, uh, why I bring this up is because so many people are completely clueless of what's happening around the world. You know, if you're in America right now, we're being di uh, distracted through politics, and our news shows nothing but politics and you say no they're talking about uh, COVID and the Delta variant and stuff and I'm like okay that's true but those they're running it as a political weapon they're political they political they politicalize everything on the news it is not true information that's really important to you as an individual and as an example since we're talking about submarines and how clueless people are in the world. You can go right now and put in, say, I don't know, in a computer search, wherever you're at, and look and look at floods, and you can put in any continent or any major country or even small country, and you're gonna see flooding in major cities happening. I'm not talking about the flooding that's happening in Arizona. They are having some streets and cities being uh, floods, but in Arizona, those are areas and uh, dry riverbeds. They expect the flash floods to come. Now, it's very silly, and we're seeing the destruction of the people that built these track homes right on the border and literally inside these areas, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, these riverbeds. Of course, these homes are going to be washed out in decades in the future or during big, huge, heavy storms. We're seeing evidence of that. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about in major cities in every single country in the world right now are having people driving down their cars and being washed away within minutes. This is not normal. People do not build big, huge cities and live there if that's what happens on a normal basis. And the news shows none of this. Now, we're going back into talking about this type of stuff that's happening around the world. They have talked a little bit about probably the earthquake that happened last night, an 8.4. Well, you know, it only happens to be, I believe, the fourth or fifth largest earthquake Alaska has ever experienced. May be a big deal, may not, I don't know. It depends on if you're looking for the signs for the coming days, for the end days. And like I say, we've got flash floods happening in every single city. Brazil just yesterday had a snowstorm. They've washed their, they had ice this week. So anyways, just I'm talking just in July. Now, Pastor Paul Begley has been keeping people abreast of these type of animal deaths and earth changes and sinkholes and natural disasters for over a decade now and if you've been paying attention and following along it's just been amazing 
how many signs can be being presented with people still being ignorant of what their surroundings are like? So let's get back into this live video that's happening right now of these scientists that are, that are in a robotic uh, submarine off the coast of Oregon. As I do this video right now, I'll go right back into watching it because to me, um, okay, so what's, what the scenario is, they're down there looking at things and they're finding animals and and, you know, using their suction cups and bringing some aboard and looking around and there's a live audience and they're, it's very lively and very discuss, uh, they're being very vocal and uh, discussing all kinds of different things and uh, it's, it's very interesting. But what is, what interests me is that all the scientists that are there talking and doing this stuff they are chasing these bubbles that are coming off the ground of the ground of the ocean floor. And they just came up to this one spot that has a plethora of bubbles. And their voices are going, oh my gosh, I can't believe, look, look, oh, it's a wall, it's, oh my God. And now me being a diver, I've dove for, I've, quite a bit and you see air bubbles in lakes rivers oceans and all bodies of water at some given points in times and usually there is a not usually there's always an explanation for it but on the bottom of the ocean right now these scientists this is where they are comfortable with this is where their home base is this is where they're exploring this is the ocean that they know this is the section of floor that they know and they can't believe and are flabbergasted, and I use that word literally, they are flabbergasted at how many air bubbles are coming up out of the ocean floor. They're not down there, I believe, to observe that. It's sidetracking them and it is a, making them now discuss these bubbles. Uh, again, trust science, 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 science. Well, there's a lot of people that don't trust science that can explain what's going on. Where science will always, science just is a something that you just record and then you observe it and the most obvious is the answer and the more you record, things can change. So science in our way, our government and our politicians and our news media, the way they are using the word science and sheeple that want to argue about silly things and say trust science. They're acting like the word science is a simple stop all truth. Or how do I phrase this? Trust the science. No, the scientist says this. That means there is no other way that you should record in the future. Since this is the scientific answer, stop observing and recording yourself. This is how it will always be and it will never change. Trust the science. When in, when in truth, if you wanted to really use science as the barometer of what you want to do, do, you would constantly be observing your surroundings, writing them down, and comparing them on a daily day uh, or whatever the test may be to see what the outcome is. And right now, in our world, no matter what continent you live on, we are seeing changes happening at a rate that they can't keep up with the explanations. And like I say, people are clueless. Go up into floods, go into heat waves, go into frost, the coldest all over the place, go into any kind of natural disaster. It's happening at a record. And I want you to just stay in July of 2021. Okay, so this whole COVID and all this government and stuff is just keeping you away from the truth. And that is to be aware of the signs around you so that you can be aware of Jesus Christ is coming. All glory to Jesus Christ. Anything that I say from a man's point of view, of course, you know, is false. I pray that you would be able to spend more time in the Bible and that, um, that you stay safe and aware of what's around you so that you can not be panicking like the ones around you that are going to be clueless in the days ahead. So God bless you, God bless America, and God bless me. All glory to Jesus Christ. Amen.